Hey guys, in this problem we have a shot putter throwing a shot and we're looking for the average force exerted by the shot putter on the shot. So if you don't know what shot put is, they're throwing a ball basically and we want the force they're putting on the ball. So remember that force, according to Newton's second law, is equal to mass times acceleration. So in this case we're looking for averages here. The formula doesn't change though, but the first thing we need to find is the acceleration because we're not given that in the problem. We are given things about the distance the ball moves through and the final speed of the shot. So we can use that along with our kinematics equations to figure out the average acceleration of the shot. So let's sort out our givens. So we're given the final speed of the shot. We know that the initial speed of the shot is going to be zero if we're, if we're starting at rest before the shot putter accelerates it with their hand. And we also know the distance that the shot moves through as it's accelerating. So from this, it's clear to see that the best kinematics equation to use is the one stating that v squared is equal to v naught squared plus 2 times acceleration times displacement. So if we solve this equation for acceleration, then we'll have the average acceleration of the shot. So we subtract v naught from both sides. So v squared minus v naught squared, and then divide both sides of the equation by 2 delta x. And this is a formula for the average acceleration. So let's put in our values now. So that is the formula for average acceleration. And let's put this term into our formula for the average force. So the force is equal to mass times everything we just wrote, times v squared minus v naught squared, divided by 2 delta x. So now what we ought to do is plug in the values that were given to us into the calculator. So the mass of the shot is 7 kilograms. Its initial speed is 13 meters per second. This is squared, minus the initial speed of nothing, all divided by 2, times the distance it moves through, which is 2.8 meters put all this into a calculator, and we get a force of about 210 newtons. So this is the average force that the shot moves through, or the, the average force exerted by the shot putter on the shot. And so that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe and tell your friends about this channel, because that'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question or a request, leave a comment down below. That is all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.